Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to have a look at a function called concatenate, which allows you to join cells together to form one string within a single cell, and a feature called text columns, which allows you to split down a column of information into separate cells. So the example on this side, I want all this information, so Steve Saxton sales, to be in one cell. Before I show you the function, I'm just going to type it out. Start off with equals, click on the first cell that you want to be part of this string, and then you have to use the and sign, which is what I'm going to call a glue point, to glue that cell information, Steve, to a space. Those two quotes, it is going to give me a space between Steve and Saxton. Then I can do another and sign to glue it to Saxton. And then another and sign to glue it to a space. And then finally, last one to the last cell. I don't need a space after that. I should just be able to tick this. And it should put... Steve Saxton sales and then if I just pull that down or double click that down it does the same for all of these guys nice and easy now if I delete that and do that again by using the function if I go into the function wizard and search for concatenate so it comes up concatenate that one you get this sort of box so what I need to do here is just move this across so I can see what I'm doing so I'll click on there. Now, if I want a space, I need to put the space information in that box, the second box. I still need to do the quotes, then click. Then I need another space there. Then the last one will come down a cell, and that's going to be there. So this is using the function. I find this slightly more difficult myself because it's not obvious what you should put in these join cells, the space, and if you forget, you have to edit the form and basically come back in this and try and fix it. If I just click OK to that, I get the exact same answer. Then I can just pull that down like so. So either way, you want to do it with the function, or if you don't want to use the function, you have to use the AND sign. So if I undo that again, this one, so I'm not using the concatenate function but the fact that I've used the and sign there is basically doing the same thing. Now to reverse the process, so this is a list of addresses that are all in one single cell. So I don't want that to be in one single cell. I want that to be separated across. So I've got it like um, a bit of information in each cell. Now what you can do is go to the data tab and you've got text to columns. Now, I need to highlight this first off. Now, this is going to be slightly difficult because of these numbers. If I go text to columns, it's asking us what is our information split by. So, it's got tab as a tick. Now, if I go space, like that, it's coming up with this. It's giving me one, two, three. If I leave it on tab and take the space off, it's still all together in one cell. Now, there aren't commas there or anything, so it's looking like I'm going to have to use a space and then me mess about with the 1, 2, 3 to get it back in. So if I click on space, space is the one it needs to be doing. And then click OK. I get them all in separate cells. And then what I now need to do maybe is, is just do the concatenation on, on this one. Oops column before I want that insert column before and then just concatenate this and I'll do it with the and sign so so and sign then double quotes and then that one to bring that back oh, I need the and sign there otherwise that won't work and then check that tick one two three bolden double click that down and then You've got that one, two, three, Bolden, Lane, Whipsy. Or if you wanted, you could just 
have the whole thing as a list and then have this separated off. If I wanted to do the same for that one, it would be exactly the reverse process. So data, text to columns. Now this is just a space option, so it's picking that up. OK, it's going to overwrite this data. Yeah, not bothered about that data anymore. So that just splits it back down again. So concatenation, I'll just undo that so get back to our work. Concatenation is where you can group information from several columns into one place. So you create one text string. And then if you've got information like this, for example, and you want to split this down again so it's like that, you can use text to columns as a feature. Whichever one you want. It's very common, that one. Because quite often when you get data coming in from a non spreadsheet type source a database source maybe it comes in all in one cell and then you have to try and break it down and worst case scenarios when you've got stuff like this how you break it down but it's just a case of trial and error until you get it how you want it to be and then you can use it so hopefully concatenation was of use to you hopefully you find a use for that with your own data thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one